So to answer that, no, I got you. I got you. I feel your heart. So what I tell people this is that <clears throat> the deception is so thick that they put Christmas on, on the 25th and Jesus wasn't even born in December. If he was born in December, he would have froze to death in the manger. So they put that on there because most of the days, December 25th, Easter, are around pagan, satanic, dark days. Meaning where they sacrifice people, where they need the energy of people to fuel the demons that, that, that has an assignment with that day. Why do you think Michael Jackson died on the 25th? I forgot what day. Uh, people are dying on certain days because this world we live in is so deceptively evil that Christians are partaking in holidays that it's like Christmas <clears throat> and Easter. I tell people it shouldn't be a once a year thing. It should be an everyday thing. So what happens is Easter services and Christmas services. And it's like if you don't know the truth for yourself, you will be caught up in a fantasy of, of Jesus, of a facade of him, than really grasping what it really means. <clears throat> so for you specifically, I would say that even though you feel frustrated with it, even though you feel like you're enlightened, even though you feel like everybody else is wasting their time searching for bunny eggs and whatnot, Know for a fact where your roots are. And let, and let people be goofy. Let people pe be naive. Do it. I, I tell people, I only give advice to people who have ears willing to listen. If everybody else is partaking in the pagan holiday and they don't believe, don't allow the ignorance or the weight of it be on your shoulders. Enjoy celebrating with your brothers and sisters at, the, at its best. I mean, that's the, that's the best you can do now. It's saying, even though my church, and it sucks because a lot of churches are trying to be, they're trying to connect with the world too much. They, they, back in Acts, the world, were, the world was looking at the church, not the church looking at the world. So what happens is, well, Easter Sunday, we better call it Easter so we can get our attendance high. And I tell people, man, your churches, some of them are operating like businesses. And it's all about their bottom line. <clears throat> and they'll compromise any and every way to ensure that bottom line grows. If the bottom line grows, if the bottom line continues to increase, I get a raise, you get a raise, I get, everybody get a raise. But the Bible doesn't call us to compromise. We're not supposed to compromise because of whatever. That doesn't mean we got to be bigots and, and, and bodacious about it. Just live it. Live resurrected every day. And you see what I'm saying? Everybody wants to celebrate on these days, but don't, even if your church believes in that, listen, they're human beings. They're humans, and they're fought, they're finding their way out of the fog like you are. And if you're understanding that, you'll be like, you know what, God forgive them for they don't know what they do, but I'm not going to let that help, I'm not going to let that mess up with, with, what, with what I am doing. So do you think that it's going against God to celebrate with them or to allow your children to hunt Easter eggs? I think it's motive. I mean, hunting Easter eggs, hunting Easter eggs. But my thing about it is if you hunt that Easter egg because of, because of engulfing yourself with the idea of it, that's something different. But if it's something like just for kids and to have fun, it's one of those things where, you know, I may not have a, I mean, it's, it's a very blurred line. Because on, some, on one side is, well, the kids are just having fun, but I, as a parent, it's teaching them the truth. So when they go into the school, like, <clears throat> if they go into school and they're making bunnies, they know they don't believe in the bunny. They know they don't believe in the Easter egg bunny. They know they don't believe in, what's the girl to get the teeth? Uh, tooth fairy. <laughs> teeth. You know what I'm saying? Santa Claus and them. You know why they do that? Do you know why the deception is so thick? Let me, I'm going to tell you something that's, that's, that's real. The reason why they want your kids to believe in Santa Claus, the fairy bunny, I mean, the um, tooth fairy. My bad, I'm tired, I'm tired. That first bag of uh, sunshine was enough. <laughs> because when they find out they're not real, it'll make them feel like God's not real. Why do you think the devil get, goes to so great lengths to what, if Santa Claus's not real, then mommy, you telling me God is real, but you once told me Santa was. So if I don't feel God, then God must not be real. <clears throat> so when it comes, don't, don't be over there with your arms down, they worship on Easter Sunday talking about, I ain't worshiping, nah, cuz. I ain't put my hands up to this. Just like, God, despite how ignorant they may be, I know my heart and your heart are one. And so, that, I mean, if you don't want to go to church, it's on you. But I mean, if, you go to, if you go to church, if you go to church, don't, don't sit there and be that, be that hindrance to everybody else. 
because not everybody's woke. You see what I'm saying? Not everybody's awake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. First and foremost, like, calendar day is different. Like, the calendars and the way they set times in are way different with the day. So that shouldn't even be focused because we know most of the time it's not going to be the exact day that things happen anyway. So that shouldn't even be a point that you even focus on. But if a day is set aside, if they call it Easter, but it's, you know, supposedly when God was, when he resurrected, then that's what you focus on, the, the main focus. The main focus, And yeah. as far as kids, like, your kids are a product of you know what you teach them at the top. So if they know the true meaning of what all of this is, then if they, you know, celebrate, do whatever, okay, they can be a part of that too, as long as they know that's true. Train the child up in the way that they should go. So you lay down the foundation. And if they know that, then they should be able to eventually. I mean, sometimes it just depends, because kids' comprehension is different than ours. But if you lay down the truth and let them know the real, mm-hmm. then they should be able to go back and forth and know exactly what's And the cool thing about it is that, <clears throat> you know, when people come to my desk, right, I'm in the world, but I'm not of it. And I love that because I'm in it, but I'm not of it. But I should know about it. And so, oh, when, some, when certain people say certain things to me, like, and I tell people like this, man, when, when, when gay couples come and sign up for a membership, I don't be like, I'm, hey, listen, can I get somebody else to sign them up? Because, uh-uh. Because that's your job. I'm a critic. This is my job. Not only do I help them, I go over and beyond to help them. So that I can be a seed planted as, you was a preacher? And you didn't judge me, or you didn't believe in Easter, but you didn't judge me when I was over there on the altars, tra- travail before the Lord on Easter Sunday. <clears throat> then they'll be like, you know what? You had grace for me, and it's tough, man, because the world is that sick, and Christians are so naive. That's why messages like these are very important, because you can be able to discern what's going on. So you won't be so caught up in the bunnies and the Santas and all that kind of stuff, and you'll know for a fact that maybe my church is missing it on this. But if God plants me here, I'm not going to just jump out because they get it wrong once or two times a week, a, a year. Hope that helped, man. I got, I got some things. Mm. Um, as far as the kids, it's kind of like my mom growing up, she, um, she told us we could go celebrate Halloween if we wanted to, but she told us the truth about it. And we just, she's like, she's like, man, you can go out with your friends, you can dress up as, like, you know, dress up, or you can stay in the house and get Halloween, like, oh, you know, Halloween night. Oh, your mom had Halloween night? Y'all had Halloween nights at the house? Yeah. Hell, look at that. <laughs> How about you? So, so we, like, I never dressed up for Halloween. And, like, the one time I was going to dress up for Halloween, I didn't get in the right, so I didn't go. Like, I had an outfit and everything. I was like, what's cute and all that? I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> for you too, just as you as an individual. You know what you know, <clears throat> you know, and um, I, sh- I just struggle with it too, man. Why are we over here doing this? It's like, man, look, man, all of us deceived, and let me just keep me and God in the forefront. 